Welcome to Out of the Blue number 430.75. So uh, I am going to respond to some current events. Um, you know, here we are on YouTube and there's, there's a Jordan Peterson YouTube phenomenon. Um, and he was recently in Australia. And during the question and answer period, somebody asked him, uh, a lot of people have seen this clip where uh, kind of an insulting question, or not, the, the question wasn't insulting, but the person was insulting in asking the question. So something like, uh, how would somebody as banal as you, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know, and then the, one, of the, one of the moderators paraphrased the question. And, and, but the question was, uh, you know, what could we be doing? And of course, psychologist Peterson's answer was, you know, think about what's in your mind. And that person wasn't really satisfied with that answer. But uh, I think the question bears uh, some more attention. Specifically, what are some specific things that we, this, you know, we the living, can do, like in our day, right now? There's tension building, and, and how do we diffuse it? And um, I have two things. So the psychologist may say, consider your thoughts, as you might expect a psychologist to. Um, but I'm a singer, and so um, that's one of my answers. But the more interesting one is, uh, well, we'll get to number two in a moment. Number one. The question is, what can I do? What am I supposed to do? How do I diffuse this building tension? And answer number one, sing. Now, what do I mean by sing? Here, one note. You pick your note, a note that's comfortable. You relax your throat, relax your voice, and just go, blah, and try to hold the blah, hold that ah. So whatever note feels kind of a comfortable you without you know you want to put as least amount of effort as possible blah and um you can do it quieter than that would probably be better but um what you want to focus is on focus on is um keeping a steady tone because if you can focus even quietly on getting a steady tone you you can develop skill in these muscles that do that, that hold that tone. And so step one is sing. Um, and then under the heading of step one is how do you start singing? Well, you just make a note. Oh, quietly to yourself if you're, if you're uh, in, so inclined, right? So, oh, and you try to hold it steady. Try to hold it steady. Because, because if you can hold a steady note, and that, let's say that might take six weeks to develop, because you have little muscles and you're you're working muscles you might not be used to working, and uh, any exercise program that's dealing with your muscles, you want to start light, and keep with it, stick with it, stick with it, and then after about six weeks, you'll see results. So you'll see results where you can hold a nice, clear, steady note. Hello. And then once you can hold one steady note, then you can learn a couple notes in a row, and then that turns into a melody, and then you're singing. But the, the real foundation skill is holding a steady note. So um, the question is, what can we do? And, and uh, also... To, to go back to Peterson saying, you know, consider your mind and your thoughts. Whatever you think of as the first answer, because you have to answer this question too. And whatever you think of as the primary answer kind of defines who you are. The psychologist says, consider your mind and your thoughts. The singer says, sing, sing a note. The, somebody else might say something else. And whatever you pick uh, says a lot about you. But... Um, 
to be less esoteric and to be more really down to earth and to say what actually can we do in our day-to-day lives to alter this seemingly dangerous course that we as a civilization are on. And uh, I have my number two answer uh, is, um, how should I put it? To be suspicious, highly suspicious of all advertising. Um, or in other words, let me just boil it down. Don't believe advertising. Okay, if something is being advertised, question why? Because advertising uh, is oftentimes a kind of a magic trick. And uh, we've talked about magic tricks here before. And, and if, if you've been following along or the guy that's been following along knows, <laughs> the, the two people who've been following along, my mother and DJ Mondo, both know that this we came out of the magic shop. And so... Um, we talk about magic, and, and advertising is a kind of a magic. Advertising is trying to fool you into thinking you need whatever it is they're advertising, right? Um, so, just like when you see a magic trick and the, the magician says, I have a deck of cards, perfectly normal deck of cards, you're immediately suspicious that they're trying to fool you in some way, right? And you try to watch, see how they're going to fool you. Well, look at advertising like that. Advertising is somebody trying to fool you with some kind of magic trick that makes you want something that you didn't previously want. Um, and, and when you start seeing it like that, then you stop believing advertising. And advertising stops working on you. And this is the key thing that we need. We need people upon whom advertising does not work. Um, because all those plastic bottles in the... Uh, clogging up the oceans and choking turtles, all those straws, those straws where people were drinking Coca-Cola or Pepsi maybe, out of those straws, and it was advertising works. Advertising worked on them. And so if you really want to do something, um, singing might not be for you. Let's just say singing is not for you. And let's just say analyzing the mind is not for you because you're not a psychologist or a singer. Something might be for you. Think about what it is, whatever it is for you. But also, something we can really do that will have a really immediate effect is to not let advertising work on you. It's a big one. It's a, it's a, it's a dangerous idea. Dangerous uh, to the economy, essentially. The economy that is polluting the ocean. Well, thanks for watching.